Kellen Burns back here with you at the conclusion of the first annual UMP Dirt Car Roundup. And let me tell you, fans, I hope for your sake that you were here tonight. It was absolutely incredible. What thrilling races. We had three wide. We had four wide. We had passes on the last lap for the wins. It was absolutely just spectacular. And if you weren't here by chance, we're going to roll a little footage now and show you what you missed. Race fans, we're back here at the inaugural UMP Dirt Car Roundup with the Herminator himself, Kenny Wallace. Kenny, what's your favorite part of the whole weekend been so far? Well, obviously, I like the race, and I'm the type of driver where I don't have a lot of dirt experience, so the three nights, you know, to try to be better than what you were the night before. But I think I like how well prepared the event is. You come in the gate, all the parking's all lined out. You know, it's really organized, and there's been a lot of partying going on late at night, so uh, you know, anytime something's new, it starts out small and always ends up getting really big. So I think the Peebly Roundup is something that's going to be here for years and uh, just got to get a lot of people to know what it's all about now. for you right, it looks you. like you just won the world wrestling alliance championship that buckle's so big steve this car was flawless tonight in this eight main event you stuck it anywhere on the racetrack and it just seemed to slide and glide what a what a night for the 41 car yeah and i'd like to take this opportunity and thank gary haynes racing i heard a motor the first night here and I was out of motors. He, this is Gary Haynes' sportsman motor. He loaned me to run this event. And I'd just like to thank all those guys because they went out of the way to help me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what's great about racing when guys helping guys out that need it. Steve, congratulations. Congratulations. Come over here for a second. I got you. Look at this. He's got his, yeah, because of those strands. You, know, you got to listen to people when they talk to you. I've got two belt buckles for you one for your heat race, one for this win. Also, the black UR, the 2008 limited modified champion at the UMP dirt car roundup here at I 55 Raceway. First of all, 
I want to give you this beautiful roundup, Flack, and, and congratulations on a big win tonight at I-55. Got to make you feel good about your effort. That car ran flawlessly tonight. Yeah, this sure feels good going into the offseason after last weekend. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Troy, uh, what's the plans for 2009? We've been asking guys, you know, it's the end of the season. They're making decisions. This uh, this pro late model's been popping up a lot. Are you thinking about that? I've been hearing about it. I'll just sit back and watch, see what comes of it. <laughs> All right. Look at the smile on this guy's face. Is he happy or what? Picks up a big win tonight. I just want to say thanks to uh, Oil Time, my main sponsor, Lynn Grass, is here tonight. It's great to have him out. I'm glad we could win when he's here. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it for your champion in the sportsman division at the UMP Dirt Car Roundup at I-55, Troy Nager. Champion Bobby Dodderman. Bobby, are you as surprised as I am? The last restart before this one, you went to the bottom and had the lead going into one. So we go caution. Are you surprised Caleb didn't try to protect the bottom knowing how good you were down there? Yeah, I figured he would be moving down, but I was ready to go wherever he wasn't, so... It worked out for us. You were making your living down low, had a great car down there. Ashby was good up top, but you had something on the bottom, and it worked. Oh, yeah, it was. car was good all night. Uh, I just got to thank my guys, everybody that helps me every week, uh, my mom and dad, my Chad, Chad my cousin, uh, Nick, my cousin. Everybody has helped me. How does it feel to make history, being the first ever UMP Dirt Car Pro Late Model Champion here at the Dirt Car Roundup? No one can say but you that you are the first ever champion in this race in this division. That congratulations, that's quite an honor. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I've had a pretty pretty awesome year and this about tops it. On behalf of UMP Dirt Car and Peavley I-55 Raceway, the silver buckle, the silver plate. Man oh man, when you drew that eight, did you ever think you'd be here? You know, I had a good feeling uh, coming back tonight. Uh, I don't know what it was. I just, you know, I showed up this weekend, wasn't for sure if we were going to come here, go to the dirt track, and then I seen this plate, and it's, it's, uh, it's kind of, it's different than what we win most of the time, you know. So I thought, man, it'd be really neat to, to win one of these, and it's been, it was on my mind all day. And we went back home last night and uh, worked on the car because we knew we had some problems from the first night, and it just worked out where it was real good tonight. Back by a popular demand with. Our homemade celebrity fats here at the party in Peavley, out in the corner, the the most popular part of the campground this whole entire weekend. Fats, now tell me, what was your favorite part about this whole this whole weekend? Oh, definitely the camping and the beer drinking. <laughs> Sounds like he's got top two uh, of my favorite things to do: camping and beer drinking. Now, is this something that? that you're absolutely going to be at next year so we can come look you up? Yes, sir. We're going to be right here, somewhere close. And we're going to bring more firewood. So more firewood, and they want they want this spot reserved because of it being so notorious after this weekend. Everybody's talking about Friday night over here because of these guys right here. That's true, isn't it, Fats? Well, I don't know. We broke camp last night. We went to the pit area, and it was some bad juju going on over there. Bad juju. <laughs> that, that sounds about right. Fans, the racing action on the track was absolutely incredible tonight, and the camping, according to Fats, this whole weekend was absolutely amazing. And if it's, if it's going to be anything like this next year, you're going to want to hurry up and get your tickets and make sure that you don't miss out on the party in Peavley round two.